this workshop begins today. I am happy the local state government has also organized a two-day conclave on the 21st and 20th, 20th and 21st of this month. And in a way, this is a week-long debate, deliberation, discussion in the area of future of the skills. And India is now implementing national education policy. As I said always, national education policy is not only a philo document of, it's not a brochure, it's a document, philosophical document for global responsibility. What will happen in future? Today's India's population is around, if we go by the today's population, India's population is around 141.7 crore. Out of that, the young population is around 35% of that population. From age group of 15 to 35, 34, 35% of that population is of this age group. By next, uh, when India would be completing its Amrit Kal, by 2047, India will be having 25% of young population of the entire globe only in India. That means, in the morning, when we are discussing with Atul, our good friend from USIBC, he was discussing with me about the changing geopolitics of the globe. China is the new, is the present day production center of the globe. Material is not going to influence the future of the civilization. Human nature is going to influence the human future. India is a natural place. India has talent. India has captive market with its new aspiration. India has its own resource. Essentially, India is a knowledge society. In the 21st century, there is a unanimous in the entire human civilization. 21st century is going to be a knowledge-based century. And India is going to lead on that, lead role on that. And fortunately, we all are implementing NEP. NEP has a mandate and responsibility to look into the global aspiration.